Hey, what's going on guys? Good Mega Games here. In this video, we're going to finally embed uh, an NNE evaluation to our main evaluation function. And again, like just to bear in mind that uh, if we use the NNE evaluation without the material weight, uh, it would be giving Queen away all along the way. Uh, I didn't know that initially, but it turned out that this disaster is actually happening. So we need to make sure that we're using material evaluation as well. So from this sort of a perspective, well, in my noobs understanding, uh, an NE is some sort of a very extended positional square tables, but with a really lots of lots of features being embedded uh, at the same time. Anyway, uh, uh, in the last video, I've shown you guys this sort of uh, way of uh, how actually one can initialize this pieces and squares arrays in order to uh, use the pointers to them later on to probe the, N uh, the NNU scores directly. And in this video, we're going to be embedding this logic into uh, the evaluation function itself. But obviously, let me just reference my pre-coded stuff because this, I'm relatively new to this, to all this stuff. So just want to make sure that not missing anything. Anyway, so it seems like, okay, so the very first thing to consider uh, would it be just to initialize our pieces, squares, and the index uh, variable uh, in the evaluate function itself. So, well, obviously your engine might be different and the way you're doing things might be absolutely different. Uh, I just want to give you an idea of, uh, in general, like what am I, what am I doing here? So evaluate, I'm going to my evaluate function. I have the only evaluate function that evaluates all the stuff straight ahead. So uh, evaluate like this, here it is. And you remember that uh, we, we, all re we already did have this loop over all the bitboard pieces and uh, within every bitboard's uh, loop over all the pieces. So just in order to not duplicate in this code, uh, I want to reuse this code in, or, in order to uh, actually, uh, in order to initialize pieces in squares array uh, along the way. Okay, sorry, and I've just realized that in my initial implementation, I didn't even yet merge uh, <laughs> this stuff into the main source code. So I was still using this uh, NNU input function here. Okay, well, anyway, anyway, let's try to incor incorporate this, but probably so after piece and square. Okay, so just give some commentaries. So here we have array of uh, piece codes converted to stockfish piece codes. Here we have array of square indices uh, sorry guys, uh, I'm making this grammar mistake all along the way, even in the variable names. Uh, I've horribly realized this. Uh, I need to, to fix that basically. Array of square indices converted to stockfish square indices. Okay. And pieces and squares current index to write next piece square pair at. I think this this is quite pretty explains what what, it, what this index is all about as has been mentioned in the previous video already. Okay and now I just want to make use of this commentaries here. So just right below the piece loop, the loop of the pieces. Uh, copy this one and go back to my evaluation function. So, okay, this NNE stuff here. Okay, piece 
and squares square okay and here just right below well another little um, well, okay i would probably just leave the normal evaluation as is uh hold on guys i just as far as I, i'm uh, i'm live coded at the moment i'm not sure how should i deal with not sure how should i deal with this uh positional square tables should i command them out well probably i should have because uh as I, uh, as I was mentioned before, I want to use the normal B square tables. Well, uh, anyway, what I will do at this moment, just yeah, just to make sure that we're not breaking anything, I will just command out all my B square table stuff. Also, mobility can save it and all this, all this stuff. So literally, commanding out everything that is not uh, material scoring here, like this. So just try to command this stuff out at all up to here okay oh my god why this doesn't this so do i have what did i do wrong i can't command the code already come on oh no i did command it oh my god everything 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 is working actually okay good so just just want to make sure it's still it still compiles and runs so make debug and if it makes run the bbc binary executable okay so output from the previous part good and now here right below the scoring uh, the material score stuff uh So generally this code is uh, an NE related. I'm not sure how to. Maybe let's say uh, initialize code to initialize uh, pieces and squares arrays to serve uh, the purpose of direct probing of an NE of an NE. Okay. So this is it. So let's say case white kin. Here we have the case black kin. And here are uh, all the rest pieces. All the rest pieces. Okay. So let's make sure it's still kind of compiles and runs. Good. And when we break uh, out of this loop, when we break out of this loop, uh, pop bit. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure is this. So this, okay, this is the bit boards. Okay, just hold on, guys. I need to make sure yeah so yeah okay okay so when i drop from this loop uh i want to set zero terminating characters at the end of pieces and squares arrays 
so I want to say pieces indexed by the index, whatever index is there. So the, the, the last one uh, would be equal to zero and squares indexed by the index would be equal to zero as well. Yeah, let's try to compile, compile around, make sure it still works. Good. Okay. And at this moment already, we do have uh, all the necessary data to uh, make our NNE evaluation. So let me, so I was, used, I was doing this in a separate function, no need for that actually. Just wanna find where I did this. Okay, so I did this here at the very end. Well, we'll, we'll start this like, We'll start this like, and then uh, in the next video, I will go for slide optimizations just to give it some sort of a, a end result like uh, image view. I don't know how to call it. Okay, and another important, incredibly important thing. Uh, okay, so this function was actually initializing the pieces and squares. Okay, so this we need this score and we need to uh, give it a sign depending on which side to move now is. And this uh, multiplied by, by five and divided by four, it's some sort of a score scale and I have no idea how exactly this works and why exactly this values. Uh, I've grabbed this from Cfish and with any other values, it plays some weird chess, but with this values, it, it plays like, like Stockfish does. So I think this value suggests what we need there. Anyway, so uh, uh, obviously we're not going to be returning everything, anything here, we'll just be uh, converting the score. And here we want to get an NE score. Uh, well, I would say positional score uh, because, well, even though the availability of the material affects this NE score, but um, still without the material uh, being calculated, it doesn't work. So. I just call it an any positional score. If this is a horrible mistake, uh, please kindly uh, uh, tell me that in the commentaries below this video because uh, I truly believe that this an any is only positional scores, not the material scores. Okay, and now it should be plausible, like uh, in case if this is white to move, and it should be uh, have the sign of minus in case of if it is. If it is black to move, so we can say, so here we want a sign, a sign score based on site to move. Okay, so Well, probably I can just use this parenthesis to, to have some sort of an expressions. So if site is equal to white, score would be equal to, well, actually we don't do anything, it's just the score and otherwise score equals to well, I remember they were doing something like multiply by minus one, but can I just, can I make it just like this? Uh, I need to figure that out. And also, okay, so one more important thing. So here we need to make sure we call it an NE score because otherwise it would be, there would be a collision with the main score variable that is the interpolated value between opening and end game scores. Okay, so this would be the NNE score. And let's actually try to print this. Just, just wanna make sure it's kind of correct. So NNE score. And well, I might have some issues with if just change the site, it might affect the value as well. 
and it is tricky but anyway let's let's try this so and then you score save oh my god what am i supposed to see now uh okay so this this function uh, is called now evaluate and then you side pieces and square copy okay evaluate okay okay so site is a global variable in my case good okay so if i did everything correctly uh, this uh, and any score should be equal to the score uh well i didn't yet call that so it should be equal to 42. okay i think uh i well i just leave it leave it for a while if i did something horrible wrong to reference there but also i want to let's call this integer eval score and just call the evaluate okay and printf uh, and I don't want to I don't want to print this part printf eval score so this one should be uh, 42 as well I really hope so so eval score decimal let's have a look okay something has gone horribly really wrong here so NNE score for some reason is not 42 hmm Oh, uh, actually, yeah, we don't need this for a while. Uh, the overall score doesn't matter at the moment. Uh, it's just a material only. This NNE score should be 42. This is very strange, guys. I have no idea why this disaster is happening, to be honest. Mm. That, that's the downside of life of life code and this like complicated things okay okay so okay i got the pieces and the squares and the index all seems to be the same so pieces squares Hmm. The difference is that that's only this stuff is actually material evaluated, but okay, guys. I probably just paused the video to maybe because it might take a couple of hours to reveal what's going on here. So just hold on a sec, please. Okay, probably a bit fa a bit faster than <laughs> a couple of hours. Uh, yeah, that's because I'm actually doing some actions on this course. So if I just command this out and have a look again, thank God this is 42. Oh my God, thank God this is so great. Okay, so the score is uh, so uh, I've retrieved the same score, but after this manipulations, it has been slightly changed, which is okay. Uh, which is okay, and. Well, uh, what I'm concerned about, if I just change the side here, uh, well, let's say, if I just change the side, it might give just a different, uh, just a different value. Well, oh, yeah, score FEN is the same because I didn't change the side in the FEN itself. Uh, yeah, but this, this one is different, so it's not an option to check and the option most likely would be to 
Uh, I just want to check this code. I'm not sure if this code uh, on changing the sign of the score actually works properly or not. So, well, I will now try. Oh, what have I done? Oh my God, what have I done? Uh, well, actually, because the side is white, I did hit this one. Uh, but yeah, just, well, first, so this should be all 42 again and 52. Okay. And now I just want to check this one. So if equals minus and any score, would this be minus? Yeah. Minus 52. Okay. Okay. So, so most likely this should be working. I didn't test this yet. So. I'm really tempted to know whether it's gonna be working or not, just like you guys. Okay, and we're now already almost at the state where I was when uh, when I was showing you my quick dirty initial implementation. So we have this evaluate and then ye. Okay, so here, uh, so this score was already uh, containing the material score. So now we would go regardless of the game phase. Yeah, okay, and okay, okay, so this NNUE score. Well, actually, we don't need this in any score. Just check this one last time. 52. Okay. So don't need this one anymore. And so here, returning score or minus score. And here, I need to say, uh, just, just going to make another grammar mistake. I forgot how to spell the word aggregate aggregate oh thank man thanks man another guy commented thank you so much angelus skyrakis skyrakis thank you man okay aggregate uh, aggregate material and positional and any score and I just want to say score in this case plus equals because uh, the sign dependent on the color is already uh, adjusted within the NNE score uh, well probably I couldn't uh, I could have dropped this uh, but yeah not yeah it's, it's better to count to keep it like okay so NNE score just plus uh, and any score but this is not yet it it should be different from oh uh, sorry guys so now I need to bring the eventual evaluation and this is 52 and the reason why this is 52 is because uh, material is equal so we have the pure uh, and any score and uh, but there is there is another issue uh, I probably commanded out uh, the scaling again oh my god where is my scaling no i didn't oh yeah so no no it would be 42 without the scaling with the scaling it's 52 okay everything is now correct hopefully okay so one last thing guys uh, a pretty important one because without this it also capable of playing chess but not that great so uh, what I learned from Stockfish Evaluation Guide, uh, well, probably I could even show you this, that the value, the relative value of the pawn in Stockfish is not 100 points like it usually is in, in BBC and most engines. Well, maybe not most, but well, I believe in most engines. Like hundreds is 100 is either uh, is the relative value for a centi pawn. But in Stockfish, this value is actually 200, believe it or not uh evaluation term i don't know where did i see this i swear well maybe here in points 
pull, pawn middle game, let's take this one. I don't remember guys, I don't really remember, I swear I saw that somewhere. Well, maybe I just, maybe I should have choose the file to... The value of pawn, I don't remember, value of pawn, great. I don't know, two hundreds, pawn, don't remember guys, maybe that wasn't a source code of sea fish, I don't remember really. But I swear I saw this somewhere. So that in Stockfish the value for pawn is is two hundreds, not one hundred. Scale factor. Nope. Uh, maybe some material. Material, yeah. What if I just? Just go for material, non pawn material. It's hard to say now, what definitely wasn't here. Well, okay, guys, I'm, I'm sorry for, for just for wasting your, your time. Probably I should have prepared better for this video. But anyway, uh, this is just a practice, uh, what I've been doing. Well, and probably I could even show you the difference. So what I was doing, I was, uh, I was multiplying uh, the weight by 2, like this. Uh, but we can actually check that out, that, like what would be the difference if we don't do this and if we do do this. Well, maybe maybe I've done something horribly wrong, so now it doesn't gonna work. But anyway, so from now on the evaluation seems to be kind of more or less just fine. So we'll now uh, connect our engine back to UCI and try to run a couple of commands. So UCI new game, I just want to have a look at the best move and uh, and the scores uh, given there as well. And also just to bear in mind that uh, with this uh, NNE uh, it's about 65% slower, uh, search would be about 65% slower uh, and uh, yeah, so just to bear, bear that in mind. So I would like to go depth, let's say 8, just in order to... Oh my god, what a horrible thing. No, the PV is horribly wrong here. It seems like it doesn't really see... Like it's like a material only. Okay. So this is totally wrong. Let's try to debug this stuff. Okay, just pause the video to make sure that uh, I find the bug faster. Just hold on, guys. Okay, I, I'm a complete noob, guys. Sorry, I just, <laughs> I just deleted the initialization of this. And any weights, which is horribly wrong, uh, but it gives me an idea that actually it's, it's a good idea to put this to all in it function. So probably I do this just right now in the moment. So here, just initialize my NNE stuff. Okay, so all the rest shouldn't be affecting that much. So yeah, and also let's make it for debug basically. And it seems like uh, embedding, or well, maybe it's just okay. Just let let me ch check this. New game. Go depth eight. Okay, e two, e four, c seven, c five. Yeah, this is it. Have a look at this principal variation line, guys. This is already like a human chess, Sicilian defense. What an engine without uh, NNE is playing this like chess. None of them, I believe. Well, maybe some do. Okay, so already the, well, at least the principal variation line is just what I expected to have. So we can now already test this. 
uh, but again, like uh, I think that multiplying the um, uh, multiplying uh, weights by two is appropriate as well. Well, I I might be wrong. Not sure. Just just starting out with this stuff at the moment. So okay, so we did make this. Okay, and just do it again for sure. And I will now go to Arena and create a new engine, install a new engine here and try to play it versus itself first and then try to play it versus my previous version of BBC. So this, this is my previous test here. So I'm going to the engine section, get rid of all these guys, details, okay, details here. I want to create a new one, uh, desktop uh, chess programming source and then you evaluate BBC open okay so this one would be BBC and then you and we call it YouTube okay by CMK Ukraine okay and apply and now I just want to take this engine apply Okay, and I hold my breath and try to make this engine plane versus itself at so how much? 20 seconds. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit, hold on a sec, it's a little bit strange evaluation to me. Uh, well, probably because of, uh, I just, hold on guys, I just want to set the 30 seconds because it's not the, the game that I've been watching. So... Maybe that's because of the weights, I'm not sure, so it really needs testing. More testing. Okay, now this is the variation. Okay, okay, so this is the variation we've seen. Okay, Sicilian defense with a C3. Not sure, so Sicilian Alapin. This is the name of the variation. But already, guys, you just have a look. This is the NNE playing chess. Isn't this fantastic? This is already like... A human player playing versus another human player. Well, uh, I'm not sure if... Whoa, what a hunt on C5 pawn. This is so great. Okay. So interesting. Night, night outpost here. Yeah, I definitely seen this game. Yeah, this is really good. Well, the depth is... Uh, well, usually at this time control, the depth is for about... Well, at least eight, nine, but now it's much weaker. Well, anyway, it's playing chess, which is absolutely fantastic. So uh, let's not waste our time. And I just want to play a couple of tournament games now. Mm. Just want to make sure that BBC 1.2 doesn't have any books connected. Yeah, just to play the bare engine evaluation. Okay, and now we go to the tournaments. And I want to play uh, BBC and NV YouTube versus mm, BBC 1.2. Okay, 30 minutes. Let's have let's have two games, and we start. Okay, so BBC uh, and NV is playing whites. Okay, okay, pawn up already. Well. But have a look, have a look at this depth. So it's less depth when the NNE version. But I must say that the depth is not that significantly lower compared to when I was using that horrible uh, NNE input function, duplicating the loop over all the pieces to extract the squares and the piece codes. So I need to say that this one is really faster. So th this this is very, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Uh, Something, something with my stomach. So this is really better now. Uh, and I'm really wondering, even if I have to uh, actually duplicate in those, uh, if I do have to duplicate those piece weights, it's an open question, to be honest. So it seems like it's crushing already. But again, like this is a little bit different implementation compared to that to the one that I've been using. 
Oh my god, what a crushing chest. What a crushing chest. Do you can you see this? What a crushing chest here. Okay. Did it did he make did was was it mate? I, I just didn't even realize to see what was there. Was it a mate? Probably. Okay, yeah, it seems like it was a mate. Yeah, it was a mate. Fantastic. And now BBC and NE playing Sicilian defense. Uh what a center control. Oh my god. This is so nice. Just like a human plane. Just like a human plane, Sicilian defense here. Yeah. Brandon J. Norman, if you're watching this video, beware because I'm soon gonna be adding this version to my online version of BBC and I would challenge you to play versus BBC and NE and we'll see if you can beat that beat it that easily as you've done with the BBC 1.2. Hi there man if you're watching this. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know who's, who Bre uh, Brendan J. Norman is, guys, that's one of my subscribers who is testing BBC while playing it, uh, while playing versus it uh, as a human, basically. A very interesting games. Have a look at my human versus computer chess. Okay. Okay, but it seems like uh, an NE version has just dropped the queen which is not that great really well okay okay so it lost the second game but you saw that the game was actually uh the positional play was absolutely different well okay guys so this is good well now probably my computer would hand no it didn't well this is cool oh, oh it usually does uh one last uh one last task before we end this video i just want to uh, multiply the uh, this uh, I want to multiply this uh, weights by two uh, first I will go for score opening score end game for this uh, slow way uh, just as a proof of concept to, to make sure if uh, it would be playing uh, if, if the game would be different actually Okay, so in order to weigh this low down, uh, I will later on just go to here. Nope. Oh my god. I will go here and just uh, multiply each value by two here. So not so just to look up instead of calculating. Okay, uh, I didn't yet test this difference because I didn't have this th this versions of code until this time. So some benefits of live coding is that you're really truly excited to see what's going to happen because you have no idea what, what is actually going to happen. So let's have a look. So with a multiplied by two, uh, with a multiplied by two piece weights, like I was mentioning, well, I don't know where did I take it from, but I swear I, I remember I saw, saw it somewhere that Stockfish has two hundreds for uh, relative pawn evaluation okay uh, let's have uh, no delete results let's start a new tournament so this should be look like the previous game but yeah well it's pretty same at the moment yeah just I, I even forgot to have a look at the scores to be honest well, and any version thinks he's much, much better. Not sure if that is true or not. But you see that already the game is actually different. It's really different here. Uh, I can't claim for sure this is better. And actually, yeah, this really looks like what I've seen. Yeah, it looks like what I've seen before. Oh my god, I thought this was a positional knight sacrifice. It's not, hopefully. Okay. Yeah, interesting game. So you see, like already, it's, this is a different, different play. So uh, it seems like that the interaction between the uh, piece weights and positional weights actually matters, and seems like it matters significantly. But don't tell me it's gonna be a draw. Come on, just don't tell me this is gonna be a draw, please. Okay. Yeah, knight on d5 is just a monster. Okay. 
Yeah, it's it really looks like the game I've been watching already before. Okay. Okay, well any any anyway it's winning. Maybe not that crushingly how in, how in the previous part, but uh we will also see uh the other game uh with black pieces so i'm wondering is is this is this now gonna win that game or lose yeah it's a little bit strange so the the problem of this enemy that yeah it's it's a draw was was it a draw hold on a sec or did it did it actually lose what just happened? Yeah, it seems like NNE origin has lost. Well, anyway. So with the black pieces. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I really remember. Yeah, actually this seems to be the game I've been showing you uh in the initial Yeah, this seems to be the game that I've been showing you in the initial uh video on this series. Seems like the exact position should be winning for black well maybe it's played a little bit different well anyway guys uh i'm not really sure uh well maybe this was a mistake to uh, to multiply ways by two maybe i did something horribly wrong i don't know i swear yeah it seems like it's actually playing worse yeah and definitely not the game that i've been showing you even though it's it looks like that but it's different game so i need to figure it out on my own and then hopefully in the next tutorial uh i will be able to to optimize the evaluation to make it more uh more precise well anyway it's not that black it's not that bad for black black is seems to be still winning uh well maybe in my dreams okay not anymore okay maybe no it should be a draw it should be a draw really well technically it's possible but with two seconds left i can hardly believe so most likely it would be a draw yeah and unfortunately a different game that i've seen so yeah it doesn't matter how it ends up anyway guys so the proof of concept the the, the concept has been proved and we've just embedded the NNE, uh, NNE evaluation to uh, our average alphabet chess engine. And this is really good. And uh, now I will spend some time on actually figuring out for 100%, to be 100% sure how exactly I should deal with uh, material weights. Uh, and maybe like, what am I doing wrong if, if I'm doing, a, doing anything wrong actually. And some possible improvements would be to use the normal evaluation in the end game uh, because it's just faster. It would be it would allow to go deeper uh, and faster and deeper in the end game, uh, assuming that you already have an advantage. Uh, yeah, and in that case, we would be relying back on our positional square tables. It, it would it would be just evaluated much faster. That's that's the simplizer behind it. Well, okay, guys, so this is it from my tutorial. <laughs> oh, my God. This is it from my site. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something inter interesting out of it. Thanks for subscribing to Chess Programming channel. This motivates me to keep uh, doing this work even more. Uh, I really hope to see you in the next part in this series. Uh, probably that would be the final part with the final fine tunings. Uh, and then uh, I would probably try to actually make my online version of BBC playing with this engine that uh, we're now improving. So for those of you who is not aware, I have an online version of my BBC chess engine. Well, this is the 1.2 version. It's not uh, no NNE here, but I, I want to embed one right into here. So to challenge human players uh, even more because now they're crushing my engine and that's a bit unfortunate. Well, okay guys, so this is it from my side. Again, like, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next series, uh, in the next videos. Until that time, and take care.